morning year two, it's Tuesday morning and it's time for maths. Um, our LO is a bit of a wordy one today um, and it sounds a bit more confusing than it actually is. So our learning objective is to identify the 2D shape of 3D shape faces. Um, so we talked a little bit about this yesterday with my mini little shapes. Um, so we looked at we looked at our little block of cheese, our cube, and we looked at all the faces to see that all the faces are squares. So if I was to dip it in paint and then print it on paper, it would make a 2D shape of a square. Similarly with my triangular prism, if I dipped the ends in paint and printed them on my paper, it would make a 2D shape of a triangle. So today, I've just got to find them over here, I am going to share with you a series of nets. Okay, so a net is a 2D design that we can cut out and fold to make a 3D shape. And before you do any cutting or sticking, I want you to have a look at all the shapes and try and guess which 3D shape they're going to make based on the faces. So I'm looking at this one and I can see it's a shape that has some rectangular faces and it's got another rect two rectangles there, so it's got those four I think look the same, those two look the same, I think I know what that 3D shape is going to be but I'm not going to tell you. Now this one here, this one's a bit interesting, now the grey is just going to be used for the tabs here to stick it together. So I've got a large rectangle and then two circles, I need to think of a shape, I'm looking at my little ones to help me. Oh, I think I know what shape that will make if I make that one. Then there's another sheet, and I've already cut this one out. So, this one has a square, and then it has one, two, three, four triangles. Then I've cut it out, um, and grown-ups, this would be a really good opportunity for your child to practice their cutting skills. Um, it's something we don't often do a lot of in year two, uh, but it's a really important skill to have. Um, so if they can cut them out themselves, that would be great, or at least give them an attempt to cut it out. Um, and then you can always step in and help um, if they need some support. Um, so I've cut this one out, and I folded the grey tabs over. Um, there is one of the nets that doesn't have the grey tabs. If you just add, add a grown up to help you, they could always let you know which one the tabs are. And I'm going to see what happens when I fold this shape into a 3D shape. Oh, I think I can see what it's going to be. It's got a square base and it's got four triangular sides and they all come together at a point at the top, a vertice at the top. I think I know what shape I have here with this one. So have a go with the nets, play around with the nets. Um, you can decorate them if you want. Um, if there's a cube, you could turn it into a dice. Um, so think about what you could do, you could decorate them, um, or maybe if you had a cylinder in there, you could turn it into a tin of beans or a tin of something else by decorating it, um, whatever you would like to do with the 3D shapes once you have built them. Enjoy!